Do we now have clues for the whereabouts of the lost tomb of Thotmosis II? Archaeologists working in Egypt have accidentally uncovered a treasure chest that seemed to give clues for the location of Thotmosis II's lost tomb. Hello everyone, welcome to Ancient Insights. Please subscribe to get the latest ancient history news, archaeology and other interesting research around the world. Without wasting further time, let's get on to it. Archaeologists working at one of the most famous Egyptian archaeological sites have made an amazing discovery. They have come across a stone chest on a wooden boss with unusual content. Experts believe that these curious finds are very important as they may indicate the lost tomb of Pharaoh Thotmosis II, who died over 3,500 years ago. The find was made by a team of archaeologists from Poland's Warsaw University's Institute of Archaeology, led by Professor Andrzej Niewinski. It was discovered at the Dar el Bahari site in Egypt, on the banks of the Nile, and it is not far from the famous sites of Luzo and Kanak. Dar el Bahari is a massive complex of royal tombs and other monuments including the famed mutuary tomb of Hatshepsut. Polish teams have been working in this area since the 1960s. What then did they find? The mysterious stone chest. The stone boss with the artifact was discovered completely by chance. It was found among some debris and it looked like just another block that was used in ancient times for building. Professor Niewinski told First News that only after a closer look did it turn out to be a chest. The stone chest is about 40 cm high and wide. The stone chest contained several surprising items, all carefully wrapped in linen canvas. In total, there were three bundles of linen. In one of the bundles was a skeleton of a goose that had been almost certainly sacrificed for religious purposes. A second one contained what appeared to have been the egg of the goose. In the last bundle, what is believed to be an ibis egg was found. The ibis is a bird that had immense symbolic meaning for the ancient Egyptians. The box with the pharaoh's name. Then the Polish archaeologist found a bundle of linen canvas next to the stone casket. Inside the bundle was a small wooden trinket boss, which was in the shape of an ancient Egyptian mortuary chapel. The first news reports that the casket contains the name of Pharaoh Thotmosis II. The name of the pharaoh and the nature of the objects that were uncovered astonished the archaeologists. They all indicated that the boss was connected with royalty. The symbolism of the items found also indicate that it was a royal deposit associated with Thotmosis II. Professor Niewinski told Medical News that the royal deposit in the Kate temple of a tomb was being raised in the pharaoh's name. The Daily Express quotes the professor as saying that because we are in the middle of the royal cemetery, then it most certainly would have been a tomb. The boxes indicate that at some time, Thotmosis was buried in the cemetery. The location of the tomb of the king has been lost for millennia. Pharaohs Thotmosis II and Heshepsut Thotmosis II was only a pharaoh for three years, between 1476 and 1479 BC. He died when he was about 16 years old, and he married his sister Heshepsut, which was the custom among Egyptian royals. These marriages were the result of political and dynastic necessity. It appears that his sister completely dominated the young monarch and he never really ruled. Heshepsut went on to become one of Egypt's first female pharaohs to rule alone and is widely regarded as a great and powerful ruler. The team immediately began to look for the tomb of the young king. The boxes and their content have persuaded them that the burial place of Thotmosis II is not far away. 
The archaeologists found a bus in March 2019 and have been searching for the burial site since October 2019. The Daily Express reports that the leader of the expedition believes that they are very close to finding the burial of Thutmosis II. This will be a dramatic and historic discovery as most royal burials were looted in antiquity. The last untouched and intact tomb found was that of the boy king Tutankhamun, which was filled with a treasure trove. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe. Leave a comment, like and share with friends and family on social media. Thank you very much for watching. Time.